Hi YouTube, this is Greg from Shacking Off, and I just want to let you know that in this video you're about to watch, I say guy wire and not guide wire, so don't make that mistake. Let's roll the film. Welcome to another Shacking Off video. Today I'm going to show you how I made and what I used to make this 20 meter inverted V dipole antenna. The first thing I did was get a 4 foot section of PVC and bury it 2 foot in the ground. This will act as the base of my antenna. I am using 8 4 foot sections of military surplus fiberglass poles for the mast of the antenna. I will use this thin cable as guide wires connected to these turnbuckles to connect it to that anchor in the ground. I'm using two hose clamps to connect the guide wires to the mast. I attach the hose clamps to the connection sleeve of the poles. When the poles are fit together, this will keep the hose clamps in place. I slide the guide wires between the hose clamp and the, and the uh, fiberglass poles to connect it to the, the mast. I put three guide wires at the bottom of the top four foot section. I put three more guide wires in the middle of the mast to help support it even more. Here I am carrying out the assembled antenna mast making sure to keep all the guide wires straight. Um, it would be very hard to untangle them from that high up. I lifted the mast straight up and inserted it into the base. This is a diagram I made of the guide wires. Three at the top, three in the middle, and connected to three shed anchors in the ground. Here I am setting the top guide wires it's easy to do, but time consuming, trying to get the mess perfectly straight. You get one adjusted and then you have to go back and adjust the other. Just constant until you get it tight and straight. Here's a picture of the, the anchor with the turnbuckle connected. And now I'm setting the middle guide wires. With the fiberglass mast, it is really flexible, so the middle ones really help uh, keep it from moving. Each set of guide wires are connected to the same point. This is a picture of the ballon I used for the dipole. It's MFJ model 918. I made the antenna resonant for 20 meters. And this is a picture of the eyelet at the top of the mast I used as a pulley to lift the ballon up. And this is me getting hooking the coax to the bottom of the dipole and hoisting it up. Once the antenna is in place, then I use paracord to connect the ends of the antenna to a tent stake and place it in the ground. This allows me to move the antenna different directions. And here's the finished product. Six guidelines 
and the dipole connected to the ground. Using this antenna with my ICOM 7300 and my LDG auto tuner, it works out very well. And that's it. Thanks for watching.